everybody! Welcome to some bullshit on a Monday night. Um, Hola! Yes. Uh, Chris and I are here. We're going to be talking about this. Massive amount of lens flare over my shoulder, but fuck it. The sun has decided that it wants to laser me to death. Um, <laughs> we could we could talk about Pokemon that are based around the sun, but um, that's only... not what we're here today for. If I hadn't, they were here. To... If I had a penny Sorry. for every Pokemon that was based around the sun that wasn't a fire type, I'd have Thruppets. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Solrock. Solrock. Solgaleo. Solgaleo. There's yeah. another one. Oh my, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. There is a third. I know there's a third one. I mean, it may just exist in your mind. It's not Minior. I'm sure there's another one. And Minior's not based on the sun. No, it's Minior's a, a falling star. Yeah. Anyway, we're back with um, some of our more, you know, classic stuff. So I'm just going to lean and block the light out here. Um, we are going to be... Mark, if you name it backwards, it's not based on the sun. It's how you make a son. Hey! Uh, that was a sex joke. <laughs> Sorry. Setting the tone for this evening. Um, yeah, we are... Thanks, man. Um, we are going to be ranking a particular kind of Pokemon. Now, Pokemon come in all shapes and sizes. There are... Your big cool ones who seem like somebody just went, I'm going to make a fantasy thing and do it with flamethrowers. Um, there are your small little cute baby ones where someone went, I'm going to make a circle and somehow make it even more friend. And then there are the ones where you can tell the pub was opening in 15 minutes. And they went, fuck it. What can we Throw a dart at Google Images and put some googly eyes on it. I don't fucking care anymore. And those are the ones we're going to be ranking today. Now, some of the Pokemon here, I do think are objectively awesome. So not yeah. to... We're not trying to shit on the work of the designers over at Nintendo. Um, but there are over a thousand of these fuckers now. And some of them is just stupid. Not all of them... Not all of them can be winners. Some of them are just, just put a thing with eyes on it. Because here's the thing, the original creator of Pokemon is guilty of this as well, because some of these are Gen 1. Now, some of, the yeah. one, some of the ones that we also ruled out for, honestly, just list culling purposes, because there's so many of them. So uh, many. We're Gen let's, 1. Let's, yeah, let's be very clear, right? We have gone through all the Pokedexes multiple times. Yes. Things we have not included are... Just organic things what has eyes, such, such as, as such as eggs with eyes, yes. mushroom with eyes, yes. tree with eyes, yes. dead child with eyes. And These do not count. So. Uh, no, we are not classing Spiritomb because the second rule we had was that they have to be objects and not just object themed. Which is a little bit of a yeah. thing. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon that use uh, objects in their themes. Like, uh, Overquill looks like a sea mine. Um, uh, Alakazam has spoons. Alakazam has spoons. But... Conkeldor has pillars. But also there are things that, like, they look like someone has taken an object and mushed it with an animal. That was a bit far out for us. Spiritomb, I think, falls into that category. Well, yeah, Spiritomb is explicitly a, a, a rock with a bunch with 107 spirits attached. It's just but it doesn't really look just it. like a rock. It's just a it really looks like a big rock. scary ghost. We are explicitly talking about, you know, a washing machine with eyes on it. Yes. A set of keys with eyes on it. Well, That's what we're at. Yeah. Speaking of which, should we begin? Do we have anything else I we think need we to clarify? Should. Oh yeah, we uh, rather th we are ranking them not on how much we like them, but on how dumb they are. Yeah, like we can. I think I don't. I'm trying to think if there's any in here that I actively dislike. I mean, um, I, I'm sure I'll remember later on and well, get furious you, about it. Chris doesn't but actually the know. Most Chris doesn't actually know the full list. He knows most of it. But he doesn't know the full list. Uh, oh well, maybe like, there well, will be something on here that uh, I hate. Who knows? Did, but Chris did also name all of the uh, the tiers. That we did because we decided yes. to, to abandon the strict, the usual F to S tier. 
So it goes all the way from oddish through bulbacilly, a bit far-fetched, bell dumb, shell derp, absolute nonsense, and finally, grand bullshit. Yup. And with that little mention of keys at the start, why don't we begin with the sort of the poster child for just object it's... with <laughs> eyes. Like the someone... poster child for But it's just a object. Yeah. And that is Clef Key. Yup. Now, Clef Key is it's somebody's key ring. It's somebody's Not my key, key ring. ring. I have just, way more keys than that. It's just this little yeah. guy here. Oh, I've lost Chris. Um, sorry, OB <laughs> the, the, OBS doesn't like it when I do... Uh, when, I, when I mess around with my tabs too much. This is why I see that streamers end up with three monitors. Um, yeah. Clef key is just a set of keys. Like, he has a set of Yo. keys with a face... I do like that they have incorporated key-like motifs into the body and the face. Because what? Klefki is the one that gets mocked the most for this shit. Yeah. But, but actually, like, it's it's a bit more inventive than some yeah. of the other shit they did later. Yeah, it's just... Even earlier, some of the shit they did earlier. Um, yeah. Like, Klefki is actually a pretty good design. Because... Yeah. Like, it has the keyhole kind of nose and mouth look with the little yep. fucking dead eyes. Yep. And the but also, then, a key coming out its head, but yeah. also the ring with the other keys and a little key loop underneath. Exactly. It's cute. And it's and someone went, okay, we're doing this, and then they built lore into it. Because yes. all of Clef Key's um, Pokedex entries basically say... Yeah, it's a little, little dude, it's a little key ring, who fucking steals keys. Like, it's a tiny little kleptomaniac. Just cute AF. So I actually don't want to rank Clefki very high. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm like, of all of the, of all of the things, it's not, it's not a very stupid design. Like, no. I, I'm, I'm quite happy to just say, you know, it's just, it's just a silly little guy. It's... It's you know. a good example of sort of a Dungeons and Dragons principle that I like to go with. Which is someone will come up with a stupid idea and we go, alright, let's justify it and let's run with it. Yeah. And yeah. if Pokemon is not just that the game nine yeah. generations of, oh, yeah. then you know. So I honestly propose that we put Klefki in Oddish. I'm happy to that yeah. Unless we find someone that we think is less is is even is more normal. Should we put both? Should we put the it phrase. in Bulbasilly then, just for its concept? No, stick it in Oddish, and we'll see. We'll see how our how our barometer changes as we go. Yep, that is Clefki in Oddish. And Eight. next up on our lineup is a newcomer, and one that I hemmed and hawed over whether or not I should add it to the list because. Uh, but eventually, decided, eventually, we we're like, yeah, we should. It's Varum. Yup. Which I think has the dumbest name on this list. I mean, yes. Um, yes, it does. It does. But, Varum. <laughs> what what, what noise the engines make? It go Varum. It go Varum. But Varum and its evolution, Revavroom. Revavroom. <laughs> For even more Vroom. <laughs> are genuinely really cool. They're like little poison steel type engine blocks. And Revavroom actually features fairly prominently in the storylines of Scarlet and Violet. Because yeah, all of the Team Star they've... Captains have a souped up Revavroom. Yeah, they have a giant truck with a Revavroom in the bonnet. So yeah. it's literally, it literally functions as an engine. The engine Pokemon functions as an engine. Yeah. Are you still my bike engine? God damn. Your bike keys, your bike engine. Well, I'm afraid. We're still your whole realistic, bike. Yeah. Sorry. Absolutely. More whole motorbike is gone. While you've been sitting watching this stream, we've had your bike repossessed. We have. Okay. There's a there's um, a room out there eating it. Um, I don't actually know much yeah. about. Uh, I know that it's a poison steel type that spews kind of like toxic fuel, and I love how they've taken yeah. sort of the this little valve element and turned it into like a mouth. So it's kind of got that. Yeah, it's it's just fun. It's a little cute. 
Uh, and I trained one yeah. of these. I, I trained one of these in my first uh, Scarlet and Violet run. I yeah, it's ended up training gold. a Rev of Room for a competitive team. I think. Yeah, I mean, they've Rev got Rev Overcoat as an is... ability, which is great. Rev of Room is actually pretty solid in terms of competitive. Oh, it's only real problem is it's um, times for weakness to ground. It's times for weakness to ground, but their typing affords them nine resistances and an immunity. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like steel and poison is a really solid uh, ability. I do have one problem though that I've just realised. Um, what? Varum's hidden ability is fucking slow start. Yeah, which is thematic, but shite. I don't think it is thematic. Of course it, it is. This is a car. That basically gives no, but that's giving it a bit like it's supposed to be like a really strong like a V6 engine. It is supposed to be a V6. Um, well, sometimes your engine is slow to start. It's been a cold morning, and sometimes your engine is slow to start. The only other Pokemon that has that is Regigigas, which they gave it because they were like, if we don't give this thing something that nerfs it, it'll kill everyone. Yeah, but this which is why is they true. made it the hidden ability, so you yeah. weren't going to find that in the wild. But its main ability it's is just overcoat, funny. which is amazing. Yeah, main oh, ability to overcoat. Again, it. also kind of thematic. Look after your engines, and they'll be proof against anything. But you've got the, like, the valve up front as the mouth. You've got a little tail. I don't really like these kind of stone wheels. They kind of just look like a an engine that's been stuck in a rock. Yeah. And I like that, you know, it's like, you know, um, fumes are poisonous, global warming is real, cars are bad. You know, that's a, yeah. that's a fair message. Yeah, that is um, a fair message, but... Yeah, even if the, the Pokedex entry doesn't back it up in the slightest. I feel it does lose a certain amount of thematicness coming with this these stone wheels. I mean, I think ultimately my issue is um, that it looks dorky as fuck. Oh yeah, like if it, this thing is on that weird, it's balancing that weird line between it's kind of cute and kill me. And yeah, I'm I'm solidly in the vein of like you know, um, oh, it's specific. I feel like it's like not the pink elephant sequence from Dumbo, but there's like an there's something in there of like you know like a but that kind of style of animation yeah. of just like this little this little engine sat on the floor with his mouth going, eh, 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 yeah. "Kill me now, please!" You like that? That feels like the vibe. Yeah, he's just he's a gross little dude, so, and I feel like yeah. much as I love a poison steel engine Pokemon that's good in the meta, I do feel like um, it's it's, I, it's 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 stupid. I think it's bell dumb. Like this is just with a level yeah. of. There's a level of, kill me please, um, yeah. that it's kind of given off. And AMT, don't worry about it. You can you can, you can lark if you want. want. Don't worry. This is Be just chill. A, Enjoy this your is movie night. for us to chat shit. Yeah. Because um, trust me. I'm gonna, also, I'm gonna, what... There's a couple yeah, of ones gonna, what, that I'm going to be going oh, to bat for. I'm excited to see who you go to bat for. It's going to be funny. Yep. Uh, who is third <laughs> on our list? Um, oh, third on our list is actually one of your favorites, Chris. Oh. Uh, a little Gen 4 Pokemon who is, if you read the Pokedex, fucking terrifying. It's <laughs> Drifloon. Drifloon! Drifloon! Yay, Drifloon! Yay, we love Drifloon. It's a cute little child It's a child pedophile. Balloon. It's a cute little child. It's a cute little child balloon that carries children away to the afterlife and doesn't like fat kids. <laughs> True. It says it's that very... in the Pokedex that it does not like fat kids. It's, it's, a, it's a very fat phobic Pokemon. It's a fat shaming balloon that kills children. Yep. That's there's this whole vibe, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon, the children's yep. game. This is a child's video game that includes a yep. fat shaming balloon that kills children. I went with Drifloom rather than its evolution Drift Blim because Drift Blim adds a couple of extra elements that makes it look less like a hot air balloon. Uh, which is hmm. its inspiration. Drifloon looks more like a straight up and down balloon. Yeah. Um, so I, I chose Drifloon rather than Driftblim. Um, That's also, fair. Also, I bear a great deal of animosity towards Driftblims because of the uh, Mystery Dungeon games and the ability Aftermath. Yeah, that's that's rough. Fucking... That's in fairness, that's rough. But um, yeah, I am. Um... See, this is the thing. I'm like I. 
I can't really think of Drifloon as silly because of his dead little fucking eyes. It's, a, it's got his dead little fucking eyes and a fucking toupee. Okay, that's that's pretty silly. That is pretty dumb. Yeah, no. And the little heart shaped hands. No, this is also the, this is the yeah. creepy guy who waits in the van outside the primary school with a schlacked over hair, being like, "Hey, kids, no fatties." That's what this kid. That's this fucking balloon. That that's horrifying. Why did yeah, you it is horrifying. That, Don't blame me. Blame Why the fucking Pokedex. Fuck! Did you just say that? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me! Uh, oh, I'm just saying what Pokedex yeah. is in the Drifloon of Ducks children. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think my favourite bit is it abducts children, but most of the time because it can't actually lift most children because it's, it's, it's just a little ghost dude. It's just a little ghost um, dude. It mostly gets pulled around by the child because it's like, damn yeah. it. Which thankfully makes it slightly less threatening, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because um, it, 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 to... it can only carry away small children. <laughs> that's worse. You get it as worse, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, if you are aged three to five, you are fucked. Quite unless you have eaten your Weetabix. <laughs> quite literal definition of uh, of a cradle robber. This is why I went around with bricks in my shoes when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> this is where the cement shoes get you, kid. No mobster children either. <laughs> I don't know what I... <laughs> Protect you from the drift load. Exactly. So, but in terms of its design... We've got the dead fucking haunted eye, same as Klefki. Mm. And the little strings that kind of look like arms and kind of look like hands. I do yeah. like, I do like Drifloon's design. I really like the Drifloon's design. Like, I feel like much as yeah. is just a balloon with eyes. Yeah. I do feel like they've made a lot, a big effort to kind of make it look more person-like. With the hair and with the... the eyes and with yeah. the arms. I'm very glad they didn't try and make it cute. Yeah. I'm very glad it's like sinister. Do... Yeah, because it is a ghost type, and there are cute ghost types. But... Mm. Like, yeah. Phantom's adorable, and that just is a dead child. Yeah! Phantom is what happens when the Drifloon carries you to the woods. <laughs> um, yeah, like, Phantom and Litwick, and Litwick are quite cute, but Drifloon, yeah. I'm glad that they didn't. They gave it that soulless stare yeah so i'm like i feel like it goes quite low I think, I, yeah i think, on Drif I think drifloon's going quite low i'm thinking i think it's probably oddish to be honest because again it they took the concept they took the concept and went okay it's a balloon it's a ghost balloon and they 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 ran with it mm. like they kind of did a similar thing to clef key except the concept's not quite as stupid Yes, it's just, I mean, yeah. So, I, don't, I don't know. Mm. Is it less stupid than a set of key, than a key ring that steals people's keys? See, here's the thing, you can is, see the Is a haunted balloon line. that steals pulls, children. that floats, floats away with children. I mean, you can also see the through line with that. You know, like, every, yeah. every kid who ever had a balloon thought they'd be able to fly with it. That is a thought that every that child true. who has ever held a balloon over their head has had you know what that is fair okay i i'm willing to go with your gut and put it in oddish yeah i just i just needed to have a i just needed to talk about its insane pokedex entry i <laughs> love its pokedex entry fuck? it's great now we are going to a slightly contentious uh one for our next uh for our next entry which is because mm. i think it's two things Rather than just one thing. Uh, it's a very recent addition to the Pokedex. Coming from the Scarlet and Violet DLC. It is Archaladon. Uh, which now, is... I would like to point out. That of the two things oh. that Jonathan thinks it is. Only one of them is canon. The other is Jonathan's head canon. And I want him to yeah, explain it to you. Because when I'm he does. Right. It kind of makes sense. But I'm right. Because here's the thing. Okay, yeah, this, uh, just yeah, a smidge. This big picture probably isn't helping much. But if I go back, you can see it in full. Anyone who has ever been in an office supply store will tell you, that's a fucking staple remover. <laughs> that is a fucking staple remover right there. Do you have a picture of a staple remover for anyone who's not seen one? <laughs> if 
fucking... Sure, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> so I've not got one in my... I've not got one in my stationery here to hold up to the camera. Fine, we'll use, this is the content you we'll came use, here for. We'll use Google Images' stupid, shitty new search system. I hate, yeah. I hate the new Google Image system. I hate it so much. That, I haven't used it. Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. Look at that angle. Look at that angle. It's a staple remover. Apparently, no. According to the Pokedex, it's a fucking suspension bridge. Yeah. When it goes on all up. fours, it uses its attacks, it becomes, it very obviously becomes... A suspension bridge, which yep. means that at some point in the Pokemon universe, there is going to be a moment where an Archaladon is on all fours, launching an attack, and a Tyranitar just barges straight through it, snapping it in half. <laughs> Absolutely. That, well, that would be... Well, bring back Pokestar Studios when yes. we do the remakes of Black and White. Pokestar Studios will have a Godzilla film where Tyranitar busts through an Archaladon. Yes! Fuck yes! Because that's what that Godzilla would, be would do to every bridge. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can find so, yes. actually a, an image of it using its ability. Yeah, that's yeah. that's Archaladon in its bridge form. Where it kind of unfolds to zap people. Yeah. So... Yeah, also, it's Pokedex entry because I, f I fucking love the Scarlet and Violet Pokedex for doing this. What? Giving you the cool little images of, oh, yeah. of the Pokedex. I like the cool... That, that was really good. I really like that. That inspired me to try and catch them all more than any previous game ever has. Fair. I think my problem with Scarlet and Violet is when I started playing it, I was playing it in order to help a friend of mine who wanted to complete their Pokedex. So they had Violet and I had Scarlet. So I was just playing through it basically to get all the stuff that they needed. Yeah. And then at the point where I got to the end game, I was like, oh wait, I've actually really enjoyed the story. Yeah. Also, <laughs> And I quite like some of the mechanics. <laughs> also, first time you and I have ever played a Pokemon game and we've gotten the same version. Yes, this is true. Which I'm was an accident, but we did. I'm kind of okay with because from what I've seen, a lot of the exclusive Pokemon in Violet are not very good. They're not very interesting. The pre I mean, the past Paradox Pokemon are more visually and design wise interesting than the future ones where they just made them all robots. <laughs> they made all true. of them robots and all their name is Iron Something. Yeah, I, it's a I little like silly. That. I do not like that. So, Archaladon. Yes, Archaladon. Where are we putting this quite literal bridge dragon? Right. I, I, think I, I think this is a I think this is a very dumb design. I mean, I I like because Duraladon, its previous evolution is kind of like a building. Like they were like, well, what's the next thing we can do? Suspension bridge. How does that a skyscraper works. become a bridge? Apart from by falling over in an action game. Because the bridge is bigger, you know. Given that we're very clearly talking about, you know, like, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. You know, like, that's fucking huge. Yeah. So I'm like, that makes sense to me. But also, because you've pointed out to me that it is a staple remover. Yep. I can't, I can't process that. Alright? And I agree with you, which makes it worse. I think this is so. Similar, at least. Personally, I think it's grand bullshit i'm like stationary removed yeah. with a bridge that's grand bullshit yeah i fully agree i was i was saying shell derp to be kind because i fully thought you would push back on that but you know what yeah no this is some dumb bullshit. shit <laughs> yeah this like is... i love it i love it mechanically i have one in the game oh, i trained one for a competitive team don't insane. care it's grand bullshit our Chaladon is insane it builds off a very honestly kind of disappointing pokemon from Sword and Shield, but yeah, yeah. Right next on our list. Next on our list is a weird one because it's they've all been weird, Jay. They've all been weird, but this is another one I dithered over because it doesn't really look like an object. This is the first of our ones that look like food, and again, newcomer in Scarlet and Violet. 
it is Tatsugiri, who I have really believe curly form of because uh, fuck it, it's the one that's that looks I think the most like sushi. Which is what I mean, it's to they be. all look a lot like sushi. They all look a lot like sushi. But when I think sushi, I think the sort of like the sam, the kind of the the orange salmon sashimi. To be fair, that's I think that's partly because we live in Scotland, partly and in Scotland, Scotland we have a really lot of good salmon. Yeah, so we have a lot of salmon sushi. Whereas I think it's more common to get like yellowtail or tuna or things like that um, yeah, in in other countries. See, I don't eat sushi very often. I'm not a big sushi guy. Very mm. love sushi. When it comes to Japanese Absolutely. food, I'm a lot more about the noodles. I'm a lot more about the That's ramen. That's fair. Give me good ramen. I'm, good I'm udon. A, I will kill a I'm man a big for good ramen udon. Guy. That's fair. That's fair. Good udon. It. Die for. But anyway. Much as it's a fish. It's a fish. On with, a bed of rice. Like, rice. But that is also just what sushi is. Yeah. Someone just went, let's bring some sushi to life. Which, honestly, I think is kind of cruel. I think it is cruel, especially since they made it mechanically... Get eaten by yeah. a bigger fish. Yeah, which is like, why would you do that? Why would you make this cute little dragon fishy and then make it be eaten by a bigger fish? Like this little dragon, this little dragon, who is literally only about that long, by the way... Mm, it's uh, fucking tiny. ...exists to get eaten by a giant catfish. Yeah. Which admittedly... Was re which admittedly was so broken that this is one of those Pokemon that got fucking banned. It did, yes. Uh, which I kind of love. I kind of love. Yeah. Uh, ah, because it just it's it, quite fun. You know, it made Dondozo so incredibly mm. powerful. Um, oh, it was because yeah, Dondozo and Tatsugiri got banned, and fucking um, Palafin Hero form think, got banned because they were both actually, just stupid. I think it was actually just Tatsugiri that got banned. I think they left. I think they left <laughs> Dondozo alone. That's funny. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're not as good to get. They're not as good separately. No, they're not. Yeah. And actually, both of them are useless individually, pretty much, because I mean, Dondozo's ability only procs with Tatsugiri. Yeah, I mean, Dondozo is, at the best, it's like mid-tier without the sushi. Which got, yeah. just goes to show, if you're going to beat the shit out of people, always eat first. Exactly. Uh, Very important. <laughs> yeah, You're never stronger when, you haven't, when you've got a friend in your mouth. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> Although, to... Jay, and this is just, you know, because you talk about these lovely pictures that the Pokedex gives you. The Pokedex image for Tatsugiri has a Dundos in the background about to fucking eat it. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, these Pokemon are just literally just fish food. It, like, yeah, it comes in three forms. Curly form, droopy form, and stretchy form. It's just... It looks so suspicious! <laughs> like, this is the only one that doesn't look like it's ready to be eaten. It's just like, where's that fucking Dundozo? And I kind of love that. Yeah. That one looks kind of angry that's at good. it. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's the the picture that Chris is talking about. This is the Donzo. And Tatsugiri is just looking at it and going, Oh shit! And this is the Donzo fucking, who are enormous. Just They're swarming huge. out of the water being like, Oh, that's lunch sorted. So, what do we think of Tatsugiri's design? I think it's dumb it, as fuck. It is literally just... <laughs> it's just sushi. Literally, someone just looked at their fancy businessman's lunch and went, I will give it life! Yeah, that's that's it. And then they did. It's just some... Well, I lacked inspiration, so I looked at my lunch and I thought, I, what if what if lunch was a Pokemon? And then they ate it. Sure. Like, and then they, they ate it, yeah. Tazagiri, as cool as the sort of mechanical concept ended up being, this mm. is one of the ones that really screams design submitted five minutes before the bar opened. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. So, but I don't think it's quite as dumb as Archaladon. Fair. I think, yeah, I think Archaladon's dumbness was maybe, I, I feel like Archaladon's dumbness comes from the fact that somebody thought they were making a really cool edgy steel dragon. And then and they... made and made stationary. Yeah, they made stationary, and also you know, I still don't like its look as a bridge as well. Like <sighs> it, it looks a bit funny as a bridge. I'll grant you, but it is just like I think it's the it's the edge circle. It's like the edgier you become, the more likely you are to come back around and look like a dipshit. It's a very thin line. 
Yeah, it's, it's, and yeah. I think that's it's the that's Hitchcock the reason why our yeah, and that I think is why our Chaladon is so stupid. Um, whereas you know, I'm quite happy for I'm quite happy for um, Tetsugiri just to be labelled absolute nonsense. Yeah, yeah, absolute it nonsense is. right there. It is absolute it nonsense. Is. Um, right now, both of us are British. We do enjoy things. Um, how does Fuck. what is art? Yeah, you're gonna fucking lose it. This is gonna be a fun one. I hate uh, this one. I'm just gonna let Chris go rip on this one because the next in our little line is Sinisty. Fucking piece of stupid fucking nonsense. So Sinisty, everybody. Sorry, Poltygeist. Ah, Poltygeist, the even dumber version of Sinisty. Except, you know what the dumbest thing is always going to be about these? Is that they have two forms. Both of them have two forms. A yeah. phony form and an antique form. And you know what the difference between the two of them is? Fucking nothing. Okay, I will show you the, I'm about to show you the, the phony form, everybody. This is the phony form, which is weirdly taken as like a 3D upskirt shot of Palti Guys, which I don't like. That's creepy. And that's the antique form. That's the only difference. It's a tiny little mark just under its bum. Yeah. That's it. There is also no mechanical difference. None at all. It's literally just to annoy people who like to, like, who are completionists. And as a completionist, it annoyed me! No, because the worst thing is that... Because they evolve from phony and antique forms of the base form, which is... Yes. Uh, Sinisty. Yes. And you might not notice which one you have. They require different items to evolve. Yeah. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's Although, just... that's actually a really cool Pokemon card artwork for it. Admittedly, to be fair, yeah. the Pokemon cards can make any Pokemon look cool. The people who do the people who do the artwork for the Pokemon cards are fucking heroes. Absolutely. Yeah. I love I love all the Pokemon cards that are just like cozy life with a Pokemon. Mm. Yeah. And you get them in like series and so yeah. cute. It's so cute. There's so a really cute. cool one I saw that was a Charmander to Charizard. And I think it was to Mega Char mm. to one of the Mega Charizards. And it's just and he yeah. tells like the story of this kid growing up with his Charmander. Because the kid so the trainers in every picture and get they get they grow up. It's so cool. I love that. I love that so much. Like, Pokemon card game, I, I've never really been a player of it, but I, I, the art is beautiful. The art's... No, like, we, yeah. It, I would collect Pokemon cards only for the art if I could afford that level <laughs> of cardboard crack. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm out of the card game game these days. I'm like, it's, it's, too, it's too much. I'm, I'm, playing some it's the too old, much. I'm playing some of the old video games on... I'm playing some of the old Yu-Gi-Oh! video games on an emulator on my phone, uh, and that's it. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. That's, that's, as much as, yeah. that's as much as the body can bear. Yeah, because holy shit, that game went downhill. Um, <laughs> the but yes! The meta got so, very silly. Oh, it's, it's just the new mechanics they introduced. Yeah. But anyway, that's Pulte not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about... For another time. Uh, Poltygeist. It's how staggeringly stupid the teapot ghost is. It's just a stretchy little ghost in a teapot. Yeah. And I'm like... Pretty sure uh, AMT is going to have some words to say that, that we excluded Spiritomb, but we included Poltygeist. Uh, but well, no, because Spiritomb looks specifically like a big old ghost and there's like a tiny little rock at the bottom that it kind of lives in. This is explicit. I mean, I think Sinistee is worse than Poltygeist. That is you know, true. Because it's just a teacup. Is, yeah, it's just a teacup. I should have done it's Sinistee. It's Chip from Beauty and the Beast. I should have done Sinistee know, for this because that's worse. Sinistee. Yeah. I do like is oh, that not Sinistee. Sinistee worse. has a design element that I really like. Which is this little handle bit, where its arm becomes its own handle, and it's got the little pinky sticking out. Oh my god! That's I actually never noticed that before. That's a cute little detail that I like. That is actually a cute little detail. I'll yeah. give you that. But it's still stupid. Don't have that shit. No. But things. Poltergeist is 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 a dude living in a cracked teapot 
Which I'm like, why would you do that to yourself? I know exactly what this is. What? So you know the story of the old woman who lived in a shoe, right? Yes. This is like her fourth son who <laughs> moved out but can't get a job. <laughs> this is. Are you trying to tell me that this is the millennial take on the old woman who lived in a shoe? The, this is like no, no. This is. Couldn't afford, this... couldn't get on that, couldn't get on the shoe mark, the shoe ladder. And so had to settle with a rented teacup that the landlord refuses to patch up and is painted in hideous colours. Kinda, yeah. Like, he's the one who, like, <laughs> like, you know, she's sitting there being like, look, you know, he's like, your older brother's a doctor and he lives in a pair of, he lives in a pair of brogues. Come on, get your shit together. Um, Fuck. He's sake. like, fine, I'm going to move to Britain. And then it goes horribly <laughs> wrong. Like a it lot of people does, move to Britain. It? I'm so sorry. Oh god. Hopefully that'll be less oh, stupid god. these days. Uh, but we're not going to talk about politics. We're not going to talk, talk about no, politics. No, we're not going to talk about politics. I've, I've got a, but I've we got are a comedy talk routine about... to write on that. Yeah, we're we're going to talk about. I think we're, you know what I think we've made our point. I yeah. think just put it put it out its fucking misery. I can't be I can't bear to look at this Where's stupid the little going? brick. Uh, I'm thinking. My so. vitriol means I'm gonna I'm gonna want to put it at grand bullshit, I but like think, I feel like that's probably unfair. I think Shell Derp is probably better for its design because they really haven't done a lot with the teapot aesthetic at all. They haven't done anything with it. Yeah, like it is like particularly Sinus Tea more than Poltergeist. Sinus Tea is literally just a teacup with eyes. Yeah. Um, um, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna put Poltergeist Fine, put in it. Shell Derp. Fine. Yeah. It's because it's, it's it's yeah. It's not quite as I'm just a thing with eyes as Tatsugiri, and it doesn't. I suppose it's not as edge stupid as our Chaladon. Yeah, we don't like the concept. This is one of the. This I think this is the first one where we don't like the concept. And we don't like the Pokemon. And we don't like the Pokemon at all. Um, but yeah, once Sinistee is done, we kind of have to go over to the next... Oh, no, hang on. I need to find the... Shit. Ah, fuck it. We'll, we'll do the thematic pair later. Um, we are going to go over to sort of the king of thing with eyes. And that is Rotom. <laughs> Now, well, R Rotom is multiple thing with eyes. That's the thing, is we're using Rotom as the... I'm using base Rotom as the example here. But I have made a little collage that is all of the ba all of the forms of Rotom. These are all the forms of Rotom that it can inhabit because it literally is a ghost in the machine. Yeah. Which I do like as an idea. I, as, a, as a design concept, it's great. You know, yeah. is an, but it is also an oven. A washing machine, a fridge, a fan, and a lawnmower yeah. with eyes. Yeah. And that's it. And that is dumb as shit. See. Conceptually, wonderful. Love it. Great Pokemon. Yeah. Like, love it to pieces. Love, love the lore. Love the idea. Love... But also, the way that you change its form is you go and meet a dodgy dude <laughs> in the bottom of, like, a... a a fucking homeware warehouse who's like, hey, hey, you want to inhabit my fridge? And you <laughs> yeah, go, literally. hells yeah, I want to inhabit your fridge! He's literally like, hey buddy, and you go, want to live in the fridge? <laughs> now you have an Indiana ice Jones ghost. bones out of it first. Just so stupid. Yeah. So stupid. I will say one thing that I really like, and that, this is something that not as many of the Pokemon we've talked about so far, maybe only Tatsugiri has done. Rotom conveys a lot of personality in its different forms. Okay. Because we've got Heat Rotom here, where he's just like, oh, he's very surprised. Like, Wash Rotom, looking kind of mischievous. Freeze Rotom, just looking like he's having a bad day. Fan Rotom looks like, he looks very determined, like he's, he's going to go help. And of course, Mo Rotom looks like he was to eat your family. Yes, because he does. Because he does, and he will. Yes. Now, Rotom... I really like Rotom, and... 
I think maybe for the versatility. I think R Rotom is the is the concept where it's so stupid it comes back around to being cool. Yeah, but that doesn't matter for the purposes yeah. of this. For the purposes of this, but for this, so I think it's gonna. Stupid. I think it's gonna go high. Yeah, I think it's gonna go high, but I just want to say that Rotom is like, because here's the thing: the alternate forms came later. Yes, they the did. Alternate forms came later, so somebody made Rotom. And then someone else picked it up, did three lines of cocaine, and went, put it in a fridge! And then... The, and, and then... then did a lot of cocaine and went into a lawnmower. Two generations after that, they went, well, why don't we also put him in the Pokedex? Which, admittedly, I like. I it was like, quite fun, I actually. I like the Rotom Dex. It's really fun. However, it does Rotom mean Dex, that Rotom yeah. is an intelligent creature that is sentient. Yes, it does. And, like, has full comprehension and language and everything. Yeah, and we're enslaving it to dogfight for us. And or Google for us. See, it is... Purely... Could you imagine if Google was sentient? We can. It's currently telling people to drink wine while pregnant and eat four cigarettes a day. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's yeah, so you... fucking stupid. Because, yeah, Google... Let its AI scrape the internet. The whole internet. Which means mostly it. Reddit. <laughs> Which means Reddit got in there. <coughs> God knows what will happen. Like, I'm ch like, I hope to God somebody blocked 4chan from it. I think, well, I think... At least it didn't as, turn as into I a under racist. At least it didn't turn into a as racist I understand like the first one did. Yes. As I understand it, one of the reasons why Google's AI started quoting Reddit to people is because one of the things that is given as advice in a lot of forums is to tell the people to go to Reddit yeah. to get answers to things because it's just the biggest forum. And AI can't So basically it. Google read all of these answers saying, oh, you should check out Reddit for the answer to your question. And it went, oh, I'll do that. So Google took the internet's advice and went to Reddit, and where course, it found yeah. shitlords. Because the AI cannot tell the difference between genuine advice and shitposting. Yup. So, for this living shitpost, because um, we all know that Rotom's a mischievous little meme lord, uh, I want to put it in Bell Dumb. I they took think the concept it was a... and they ran with it, but it's still mental. I think it goes above Beldum for the same reason as Tatsugiri. I think it's literally Thing with Eyes. And but because it is literally thing just eyes. Thing with Eyes. But it's many Thing with Eyes, which I think makes it less stupid. That's the reason why I'm not putting it up with Archalodon. Yeah, I think it's only high, as high as Sheldarp. I don't think it's absolute, no, absolute nonsense. Okay, okay. I, I, think... I, will, I will surrender and say that it is Sheldarp. Because I think, again... Tatsugiri, they had the concept and they went, I don't know, make someone eat it. Rotom, they went, okay, ghost in the machine. Because you originally find it on a TV. It's like, let's put it in more machines. Like, that's a, yeah. a stronger concept and it's got a stronger theming behind it. So I think... But it also, when there. it was in the TV, it wasn't a TV with eyes. No, it wasn't. But also, we all thought it was a legendary. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We and then it wasn't. <laughs> we anyway. were fools. Uh, I just need to close down all my tabs of all the Rotoms. <laughs> uh, next up, we have one of the, the I think maybe the OG thing with eyes Pokemon. Uh, and that is Electrode. Yeah. Now, Electrode is not a thing in our world with eyes. It is a thing in the Pokemon world with eyes. And it had a gimmick. Like, this was its gimmick was that you would find a like an item ball in the world and sometimes it would turn out to be a Voltorb or its evolved form Electrode. Uh, yeah. And then it would explode at you. Yeah. Really fast, because Electrode are like stupid fast. Yes, they're so one of the fastest Pokemon in fact, I think they were the fastest Pokemon in the original Pokedex. If not, then I think the only thing that was faster was maybe Jolteon. But, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, like... I, I, it, I'm actually going to go and check this now. Please do. Because like, I'm, I'm curious. Alolan Sandslash 
is aesthetically more appropriate, but Electrode is the spiritual successor to Sonic the Hedgehog, because that motherfucker is rolling around at the speed of sound. I was trying to figure out where the fuck you were going with that with a lowland sand slash. A lowland sand slash looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. And this, um, this ball, this, sure. this, this mischievous sphere that will explode and ruin your fucking day. Uh, the answer is JS Electrode was the fastest Gen 1 Pokemon with Jolteon and Aerodactyl and Mewtwo being joint second. Yeah, this thing could, this thing could outrun a genetic super weapon that was built to kill everyone. Yeah, you want to know who was third? Who? So, Alakazam, unsurprisingly... And Dugtrio. Dugtrio is surprisingly quick. Yeah, like, Dugtrio's top stat is its speed. I just didn't think it was, like, only ten slower than Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, basically, like, <laughs> when... really funny to me. When Mewtwo sets off a psychic nuke, the only thing you'll be able to see is an Electro just doing that away from it. Absolutely. Just well, no, no. It... That's the problem. Vol Electrode would be za zapping into the explosion yeah. because Electrode have literally no sense of self-preservation. They just explode. Electrode would be looking at the explosion and getting jealous. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh no, they did a bigger explosion than me. Exactly. <laughs> I have to go and fight. Like they, these are, these are the suicide bombers of the Pokemon world. Like Electrode do nothing but just suddenly explode on people. Yeah, um, it's pretty bad. Although I do, I will say one thing that I fucking love. In the old Pokemon Coliseum and XD games, especially in, I think only in XD, because um, mm. you can get an Electrode, you can get a Shadow of Voltorb that evolves into an Electrode, and yeah. I trained one for a while. They have the fucking goofiest death animation in a game full of goofy, goofy death animations. Because they sort of just silly. vibrate and their eyes just bug out cartoon style. <laughs> they roll over. Yeah. And that just popped back into my head right there. It's pretty mm. funny. Electrode. I love Electrode so much. It is, it is, it is just the bowling ball of death. And that 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 smile is just pure malevolence. <laughs> it's just pure malevolence. Um, yeah. And I do like that the, in the Legends Arceus game, they made it go kind of full circle. It was like, okay, Electrode looks kind of like a Pokeball. And then they went and did Hisu mm. Hisuian Voltorb and Electrode. Went. This is the inspiration for the Pokeball. Yep. And they went they went full circle with that. I quite liked it. It was nice. They did. Um, and it's shiny makes And they made it grass. Really nice. Yeah. I really like electric grass as a typing also. Yeah. It was a new one. I like it's that. cool. Yeah. So, Electrode. Stupid. Stupid. It's very stupid. Yeah. The very definition of stupid is it's, it's a ball with with it's a, a ball with, a cheeky with eyes and malice. There is, and there very is, expressive eyebrows. Yeah, there is nothing in that heart except malice and C4. Pretty much. Which is definitely a line I'm going to use to describe a character at some point. Probably a D&D character. Um, Almost certainly. It's not as outrageous stupid as Archaladon or as head-shakingly stupid as Poltegeist or Tazagiri. I mean, I think that because it is, I think it's the thing that goes, you know, there's like thing with eyes, which is, you know, like the whole, yeah. <laughs> like AK Val, you can, I, shut up. Um, he doesn't like, <laughs> it's better than bloody Sinistee. Oh, he's absolutely, I... cool. he is cooler than Sinistee, which is why I want to put him lower. But it's because we're it's, ranking dumbness. Yeah, but in terms of design, it's a ball with eyebrows. That's like that's stupid. It that's is. like archetypal stupid design. It is, but at the same time, it's a stupid design that came with a gameplay idea that made the original games more interesting. And you're <laughs> a ball with eyebrows. <laughs> no, madam, he's a cunt with eyebrows. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. wrong organ. Um, I don't. I don't feel. I. I will say I don't feel comfortable putting Electrode any further down than Bell Dumb. It's I. 
I think just like because I think again I feel like we I, I just think we need to make an example here of like what is like you know our Chalodon we've put up there be partly for personal feelings because we you know an unintentional world. design thing made it look like a piece of stationery and you're like that's you know so that 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 was an accident of design that's a, that's a design flaw that was accidental electrode was meant to be just a ball with eyebrows you look me in the it was meant to be the simplest dumbest thing you look me in the goddamn eyes and you tell me that electrode's design is as stupid as poltergeist electrode's design is stupider than poltergeists well, shit, can't argue with that. It's absolute nonsense. <laughs> Alolan Geodude is not on this list because it's not an inanimate object. No, we... we All right? If we had allowed... If, again, that goes against our natural rule because if we'd allowed it to be natural object, that opens the door to every fucking rock type that has ever existed. This is, and this is the thing. Again, I'm like, I love Electrode. I think it's, it's lots of fun. It's very fast. It's a fast, smiley, great boy. I love Electrode. But I just think that, again, like, you know, like, Jay, you've kept saying, you, you've kept using the phrase, you know, like, what design was submitted five minutes before everyone had to go home? Okay, yeah. Ball with eyes yeah. and eyebrows. That's, that's literally the definition of it, all right? Ball with eyes like, and also item hazard. It's now scary. To I, sure. I sure. Like, they gave it a gameplay thing to go with it. Well, yeah, because it's seen all of the items and gone, maybe if we made one of them alive. Gar- Later. Garbador. Garbador is not on this list. Yeah, it's a bit too Trubbish is. amorphous. Yeah. Trubbish is because it actually looks like a bin bag. Yeah. Um, but that's not what we're talking about, because our next one is probably the second most mocked of this category and it is the one i will fucking die on the hill of defending it is oh vanilla. Dear. oh no it's not vanilla it's sinister <laughs> so i tried to line up sinister and poltergeist because they are thematically similar but i've got my i got my you mean they're the over. same bastard fucking thing i mean yeah like i here's the thing i don't drink matcha but this thing is a beast yeah. yeah, but um, the the Pokemon Company after how terrible um Sinistee was, um they decided that you know Sinistra as the poster child for their new DLC needed to be better. But also they still kept the fucking counterfeit and fucking yes, they did. artisan they called it in this instance. So still stupid. I think it is just as I honestly. It's a stir. It's a st at least it's now a stirrer in a cup, rather than just the cup. So like, yeah, someone made that's a token effort. But that's only because they like they swap. That's only because they swap the forms right. So the the teapot, which is the matcha pot in this instance, is the first form because that's where the matcha powder lives, and yeah, then it goes in the cup, and hence you've got sinus chat. Yeah. Which I'm like, because that is okay, fully, sure, swap them round. So now we've got like a, a little eyes. dude. That is fully a thing with eyes. I should have gone with, I should have used Poltergeist. Yeah, but it's also like, in the, yeah, whereas it now has two sets of eyes. The cop's got eyes and then the little dude sitting in the cup has eyes. Yeah. And it is just... And it's... And it's... Yeah. It, and it's however, got a little... Fl it's got... It also has weird little legs for no reason because it doesn't walk. Yeah, there is one. So does so does uh, Poltergeist. There is one thing I will say actually <laughs> in favor of Sinister. Go on. Which Poltergeist does not have. Okay. This thing's actually kind of cute. I disagree. I think it looks traumatized and stupid. I think Sinister is kind of cute. I think it's kind of. I think it's got, there's something that makes it just more adorable than Poltergeist. Maybe it's the little arms hanging over. I think it's because he's like wearing a hat, Jay. Yeah. Maybe it's because he's wearing a hat. So, <laughs> I would like to point out that the chat thinks that Sinister looks like uh, Jimmy Savile. So, you know. 
Yeah, I think... I think <laughs> like I don't Karen think, pre-haircut. Yeah, I don't think Sinistra <laughs> can go any lower than its British counterpart. No, I think it's bang on with its British counterpart. Yeah. I think they're both stupid. Yeah. Yeah, next... Next is the one that I will fucking die on the hill of defending until my dying fucking breath because I genuinely love this next Pokemon. It is Vanillux. Again, we're not talking about how much we like them. We're I talking know, about how I stupid know. they are. I know. I know. And Vanillox is pretty fucking stupid. Vanillox is deeply stupid. It is deeply stupid. It is an ice cream with a straw in its head. But, like... I just, look, I like that the... I like that the... The line goes from like a little cup of ice cream to a cone of ice cream to a double scoop cone. That's a cool. That is a cool concept, and it like they ran with the the thing thematically. However, like, it has a vape poking out because they didn't understand how flakes work. They thought that you stick a straw in the ice cream and drink it up they like do that like in a America. slushy. They do that. In yeah, America but that's because Americans are psychopaths. Yeah, you got a sort of nation of psychopaths. Flakes. Um, Sorry for any Americans watching this. You are a nation of psychopaths. psychopaths. You drink ice cream through a straw, you're a psychopath. You're all psychopaths. Go and shoot your Supreme Court. Right. Um, <laughs> True. So, uh, <laughs> prosecute me. I, I'm, I'm British. I can't do it. Um, yeah, I cannot pretend that Vanillux and its entire line from Vanillish and Vanilla Light Up is not the poster child for Stick a pair of eyes on it and fuck off. Yeah. Um, but I do love it so. I do love it so. So it is. I mean, it's cute as fuck. Yeah, it is cute as fuck, and honestly, kind of a powerhouse. If it stays alive. Well, that's the thing is they get Snow Warning and Aurora Veil. Yeah. So once Aurora Veil was invented, they stopped being quite so brittle. And now that and now that snow has been changed, has been changed from hail to snow, which gives ice type an inherent mm. defense boost. This thing's hench as fuck. Yeah, I mean, as far as pure ice types can be. Yeah. Yeah. That is the face of a tank. Uh, can take a lot of licking. Um. And that, that made it worse, Jay. Yep. That just made it stupider. Yes, it did. Vanillox. As much as I love it, is at the very least absolute nonsense. I think maybe even grand bullshit. I think it's grand bullshit. I'm yeah. sorry, you 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 yeah. bumped me down on on electrode, but you know I'm like the very cute ice cream cone is partly very cute because it's so very fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. Next up, we've got one that is less stupid. We are actually motoring through these. We're about halfway through. Which uh, yeah. at least fits the thing. Which is good. This is probably the largest tier list we've ever done. Yes. Um, with 19 entries. No, not Ferrisseed. Again, natural things. And Ferrisseed at least has a cool concept. Where it's like, what if it was a spiky prickle bar, but iron? No, next up is one that's actually kind of cool. And one that Chris and I both really like and had a fucking blast with in Gen 6 when it came out. It is Excalibur mm. itself, Aegislash. Yeah. Which I have put in its blade form to uh, sort of demonstrate uh, the, the, the the more sword-like stupidity of it. Yeah. I <laughs> A.K. Vel's like, my boy! I know, it's beautiful. And actually, I think Aegislash of the beautiful. evolution line, Aegislash is the least... Silly. Aegislash because is the it's the silly. Yeah, it's the one that got the most involvement in its design beyond sword with eyes. Yes. Uh because like Sword with yeah. Eye. The only one yeah, that has sword two with eyes. Eye. Is, the only one that has two eyes is double and that's because it's two swords. Yeah. Uh, no no. Um Objection to item not for item objection two items not one ah the sword is using a shield all right so pokemon is an item but it's an item that carried another item also as we established our chalodon is two items yeah <laughs> it's, it's stationary it's stationary and it's a bridge oh my god it's a bridge that doesn't move hey <laughs> fuck 
I, just for that, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go bomb our, our Shaladon all the way down to Oddish. It's gonna... <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Uh, Aegislash at least takes a... It has a cool gameplay gimmick that goes along with it. It's got its stance change thing where it swaps its attack and defense. Which makes yeah. it an absolute bastard to fight. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, it's and it dominated the meta for a very long time for a very good reason. Yeah, but I remember when the first time I saw Hone Edge and I just went, "Is that seriously just a sort of dagger with an eye?" I kind of love yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, like pull up an image of Hone Edge because yeah, like, we is... love Hone Edge. We love Hone, but like uh, we love we do love Hone Edge. Like absolutely, I would. I would die for Hone Edge. It's not very, it's but not a very it's, good image. It's because, a stupid design. Yeah, that's a that's a dagger in a sheath. And it does come yeah. out of the sheath. So yeah, this entire Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's a better image of it. Yeah. Because that's it with its sheath. That's it that's it unsheathed. Um And weirdly, like Hone Edge and its evolution doublade is this motherfucker. The two swords. Mm-hmm. Um, Bitches love two swords. They have the ability no guard, which means like they are swords that do not miss. Yeah. Which is cool. So. But yeah. Like Aegis and Lash like has a lot of conceptual cool shit going with it. Spoopy Both... shank. Spoopy yeah. shank. A lot of conceptual cool shit going with it. Both from its its mechanical thing and actually thematically within its region. But also, let's be very, very clear. From a design point of view, it's a sword with a ribbon that acts as the hand. It's... So, yeah, so the body is the sword, and it uses its hand to hold its sheath out of the way, while it, like, smacks you with its butt. I I think Aegislash is a good example of lazy concept, and then they ran with it and did something cool with it. So I don't. I'll think, grant you I that. don't think Aegis Lash is particularly dumb at all. I think it's still kind of dumb. I don't think it's huge dumb, but I think it's still a little dumb. So, I think I think Aegis Lash is a bit far fetched. Yeah, I'm like a bit far fetched. I think is probably a good place to put it because it does. It does like it makes a lot of sense in its region and in its mechanics. It's got its form change and the region it's in, Kalos. Is very based off of France, which has a lot of uh, France and a lot of a lot of northern France as well, where there's a lot of uh, medieval ruins and villages and a, a lot of involvement in the old, in the old King Arthur legends. So it, it has mm. you know thematic significance in its region. It's just mm. when it shows up anywhere else, that doesn't make any fucking sense. I just I'm just I'm I'm here purely for the aesthetic of this sword that's holding its own shield. Yeah. And I mean, like, and hits people with its own butt. It is, it is, it, it becomes less cool when you realize that it's butt stomping people. Like, this thing is basically yeah. aggressively twerking people to death. Exactly. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what it is doing. Drop the beat and it's a flurry of attacks. <laughs> oh God, it's oh. backing it up. <laughs> right through your spleen. It's just, yeah, the, like it is just grinding on a, it, it's just grinding on a whetstone in the like. Oh no, it's it, it's just grinding on a rock type in the club that's just going and sharpening it. There's some geo <laughs> there treating this thing like a speed bag so that it so that it can be sharpened. Welcome to welcome to the Brothers Honey Twitch, everybody, where we ruin things. Yep, and we he- and we headcanon weird shit for Pokemon. Do you remember our starter tier lists? Yeah. Yeah. They were great. They were great. Next up, we have a Pokemon that neither of us, I believe, have any real strong feelings about. Because in the generation that it appeared. It basically doesn't appear and is a really fucking hard to find Pokemon that just does not fucking show up. Um, it's Delmise. I caught Delmise. I've, I've, I've caught a couple of Delmise. I like Delmise. I'm like Delmise for the win. I like that it has an ability that allows it to use steel types moves as if... Um, it was a steel type, which it's not. Yeah, it's a water. Water. It's a ghost and grass type, actually. I think. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's like 
I I love it. I'm like, it's it's you know, it's it's a, it's basically like a dead weed that came over and possessed an anchor and took its power. And a ship. I'm like, I think that's cool as fuck. Like, yeah, I'm a big Delmice fan. Sorry, I should have said that before. I mean, I I don't really have a lot of strong feelings about like Delmice, apart from the fact that I know it would it would speak with a an overdone regional British accent in a guttural voice. Uh, <laughs> Yar, Jim Lash. Um, and if I clip that of me, that's gonna live. That's gonna haunt me forever on the internet. Um, Quite right. Yeah, I, I get enough people addressing me as a mad pirate as it is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Delmise. I don't, I don't really have much to say about Delmise, to be honest. Um, I mean, so I like, think from a design it, point of view, together. let's, let's talk. Up. I think, talk, yeah, talking about it from a design point of view specifically, it is not just an anchor with eyes, because it also has the ship's wheel. So, you know, it's like there was more invested into the concept than just object with eyes. They took multiple parts of the ship and put them together. Also, the section with which the, the ship's wheel is attached is not totally dissimilar to the type of propeller um, fixing that you find in more modern boats. Um, and also, I like the fact that the Delmai is, is the algae on the anchor. It's not the anchor. <laughs> there is another thing. Which, if you unfocus your eyes, you can see how Delmai is supposed to be a face. Yeah. I don't. Which is great. I don't quite think it hits that. But I can no, see what they were going for. Yeah, but again, I think that's because it's not meant to be, like, clear. I think it is meant to be, you know, like, a, it's meant to be abstract. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big fan of Delmise. I think, in terms of its design and the way it's put together, okay. um, and I don't think it's that stupid. Okay, Bulbasilly or Oddish? I want to go Bulbasilly. Because it is also an anchor Pokemon. It yeah, it is just it, it is the one where on whatever po whatever the Pokemon equivalent of TikTok is, there'll be someone standing off uh, on top of it going, "You've heard of an Elf on a Shelf, and now I'm ready for," and it's Wanker on an anchor. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Next up on our list, it seems like we've had a lot of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon actually, like, that have jumped in. Seems well, like... that's because that's when they started, that's when the running out of ideas became real fucking obvious. Yeah. This is a slightly, this might be a slightly controversial one for it being on the list. Uh, it's oh. Gimmigool. Okay. Gimmigool, specifically in its chest form. <clears throat> yeah. Because it is, technically speaking, not the chest. It's the little guy inside it with all the gold coins. Yeah. But the chest still moves and behaves kind of like it's haunted because it's a ghost type. So, I believe Gimmigool belongs on this list. Fair. Where it belongs, I am not, I am honest to God not sure. Eh... <sighs> I think the difficulty is because it doesn't really fit the thing with eyes, so we can't put it too high. Like, no. it's not the most basic thing in the world. It's a little dude Scrooge McDucking his best life in a fucking Animaniacs treasure chest. And it is working conceptually with its evolution mechanic, which is a ball egg. Yeah. Shit Where mimic. You have to run it is a shit mimic. I'll grant you shit mimic. Oh yeah, it's so a shit mimic. For yeah, so for Ship Mimic, I'm like, you know, we it's it's it at the very least it's bell dumb. Like, because it is. It's yeah. you know, it's like what's 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 we're gonna have we're gonna, you like money, we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have mimics, we're gonna have chests. But it's just a little guy in there. Guy. And the little guy the little guy just like money. Yeah. But I don't think it's anything higher than that. Honestly, I think it's probably a bit far-fetched. Only because yeah? getting you to collect that many Gimmigool coins 
to have a Goldengo for most of your run is a bit far fetched. It's very far fetched. Yeah. So I'm. I'm uh, I don't. I don't think it, it hasn't got quite the kill me and sort of weird proportions that Varum has. So Fair I feel, enough. I feel that Gimme Gold is less is less dumb than Varum. Fair enough. So it's gonna go. It's it can gonna be go here. just as dumb as Aegislash. <laughs> it's gonna go here. Where Aegislash can like guard it and protect it. <laughs> and the two of them can become a pair of monsters in a D&D dungeon. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we are motoring through this. We are. Yeah. Next, again, it's a bit of a cultural one. Um, again, a Pokemon that I don't believe either of us really have any feelings about because it's a it's a well, you're wrong about the last one. Late game. Um, it's from the Galar region. It's Stonejourner. Oh, yeah. Which is just... It's a henge. It's just it a is henge. In fact it's a henge. henge. It's barely got arms. It's, it's just... It's, it's, it's a henge. It's just, it's just a henge. <coughs> Someone just went, give Stonehenge eyes and a couple of arms. Because, oh, we're setting, a, we're setting a thing in Britain. Make it... Give it what's British? Give it, give it Stonehenge. Give it tea. Fuck off. Pretty much. Felt very much I have a lot down to for a long time. I feel like maybe I don't I sometimes wonder if like every you know region or country that's had like a late Pokemon game based on it gets real angry about it or if it's just how very terrible Sword and Shield were. And yeah. there's fine out there are fine elements of Sword and Shield somewhere. But, like, the story was garbage. A lot of the Pokemon in it are garbage. How much I love Dragapult does not detract from how shit Stonejourner is. Yeah, and also, like, the I will... In defense of Scarlet and Violet, although there's, like, a two full two-hour rant between me and Chris on our YouTube channel about why we don't like Scarlet and Violet for both very emotional and very objective reasons. I do yeah. like that they had enough knowledge of British culture to make the enemy team... Football hooligans. I mean, I just hate the I fact feel like... how, of how little impact they had on fucking anything. Yeah, they weren't an enemy team. Let's they be very they were clear. A, they were a mild nuisance, but they also weren't funny enough like Team Skull. Yeah, like Team Skull had way more character and yeah. had actual stakes. Like yeah. they were funny, but also they were poignant as shit at points. Yeah. Exactly! They had, like, real reasons for being there. And, like, they had taken over the whole, like, abandoned town and stuff. Yeah. And it was great! Guzma is the best Whereas... character in, in Sun and Moon. Fight me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then, like, you've got, yeah, Team... What were they called again? Team, team Yell. Not Team Shout. Team Yell. <laughs> team Yell. It's even worse. Not, not... Just, yeah. And also, let's be very clear. You know... The UK is internationally infamous at this point. Like, specifically, when I say the UK, actually, I specifically mean English. English football fans. Because Scottish football fans currently oh, are, rega are universally loved exactly. for their behaviour during um, the, the, the Europa Cup. Yeah. Um, but uh, England famously go into other countries and start riots and set things on fire. Exactly. Team Yale did not represent that. No. Team Yell did not do that well at all. No. And also, kids game. their ultimate leader was a punk singer? Which was weird, but I did like that they kind of included that as an element of British culture. But it also, very well, let's be although, very clear. Be fair, let the music, in, the music in that fight does slap. Yes, it does. But also, like, the three things they knew... That... The three things that they knew about the UK are summed up in the three starters. We have, you know, Britpop and like the the seventies punk scene. Um, football. fucking football and James Bond. Yep. And they reused both the music and the football for the enemy team, who weren't really the enemy team. They reused the football for the entire structure method of the fucking region. Yes, they did. Because it was all football. So, yeah. So, yeah. You know, you're you're saying, you know, like, at least they knew enough about British culture. Did they fuck? 
<laughs> they knew three things, See, and they overused like, all of them to shit. Do, do you know what the worst thing was? They only no, they only what? overused two of them. They just didn't do oh, shit yeah. with the spy thing. Sc um, Sword and Shield should have had a fucking super spy, like looker but sexy, running around and messing with shit. That would have made everything better. I'm sorry. That would have made, sorry, so would have made everything better. Oh my god. No, the, my, my, the only bit of Sword and Shield that I really liked was the Fairy Forest. Yeah, no, there's no... That was the only no, bit I liked. No Sherlock, not a... Re no we should have, yeah! If we'd had Sherlock, that would have been great. There's no references to British TV at all, which is one of our greatest exports. No. Yeah, Doctor Who is British, goddammit! Yep, there is no Doctor Who. Also, I saw a really wonderful reel on Instagram today about how David Tennant has single-handedly ended three Prime Ministers. Well, it's the fact that Georgia Tennant sent out a picture, a selfie of the two of them, I think on the London Eye, with the caption, don't you think he looks tired? Which is just... <laughs> <laughs> that was after the election, and it was just like... That woman is my hero. She's great. She's, She's absolutely amazing. brilliant. Uh, oh, yeah. Man. Stone Journer, fuck it. Stone Journer is lazy, and it is stupid. It's stupid. There's not really. It doesn't really have anything that ties it to a theme. It's a bugger to get in the late game. That's brilliant, though. That piece of Pokemon card artwork is fucking brilliant. Yeah, let me have a closer look at that. I'm gonna go jump on its page. Just, just check the stream, Chris, because that's that's possibly one of the cutest things I've seen all day. That's great. Why is it doing yoga? Because the people who do the artwork for the Pokemon cards are fucking legends. Oh my god. Yes, I've seen a couple of the crochet Pokemon. They're amazing. You seen the old clay ones? The old clay oh, ones. Oh, the clay. They're so cool. They're beautiful. Yeah. Fucking love that shit. Yeah, Stone Journal. Fuck it. I think Stone Journer. I think Stone Journer is grand bullshit. I it's would stupid, say that it is it. only absolute nonsense. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, who's next? Next, next we have uh, one that was requested earlier. It is everybody's little favorite garbage boy. It is Trubbish. <laughs> it is Trubbish. Now, Trubbish gets a lot of very well earned flag. Because it is a literal pile of garbage. Yeah. It's a, it's a bin bag that has burst at the seams that gives it like little traily flappy arms. Which also yeah. means the Trubbish is constantly narrow to running. Because it is garbage. Uh, <laughs> it was really, it was Trubbish that attacked Area 51. But truly, I cannot help but kind of love, like look at that face and go, oh. I mean, he's it's, it's, it's a little cute guy. He's, he's really cute, and he's like, Trubbish gives off the air of, like, the really sweet but really not very cool kid that follows around a group of, you know, like a larger group of kids because he wants to, you know, be part of it. You mean because of his little dorky teeth? Because of his little dorky teeth. And his, and his little ears, yeah. just the way he, he kind of just bounces along to run. Yeah. Trubbish just, <laughs> just, like, Trubbish just wants to be loved. <laughs> Trubbish, yep. Yeah. Trubbish, much like my puppy, just has little teethies and just looks at you and goes, oh. That is true. That Delightful. Is true. Yeah, Lyra is wonderful. But yeah, I just... The okay. dog is a lot more aggressive with his love. Yes. Although I feel like if a Trubbish loved you, you would probably regret it. You probably would. Like, they, they would very famously yeah. stink. Yeah, but, you would never smell okay. But, I don't know, man. Trubbish... I like Trubbish. Trubbish, Trubbish is really sweet. Trubbish is really sweet. It's, somebody, it's a bin bag that eats rubbish. It's a bin bag that eats garbage, but he just wants a hug. 
Yeah, but if he hugs you, you will stink for the rest of your life. You will have a... It's a hug from the bog of eternal stench. Yeah. <laughs> just tin, tin cans, cans for braces. braces. <laughs> but no, it's like... Tin, oh. no, it's, just, it's just a wee monster that wants to be loved. Um, Travis is Gen 5, isn't that it? That doesn't make it less... It is Gen 5, yeah. So it does at least have that and... slight thematic thing of because Unova was quite an urbanized region and a lot of it was based on New York City which is famously yeah. knee deep in garbage all the time yeah which is why you know Trubbish and Garbador exist for, for that region you're like absolutely but also that doesn't make it less stupid Jay it's still stupid somewhat it's the yeah it kind of gives the it's the same kind of vibe as Tatsugiri somebody looked at something really sad and went I want to make that thing alive and suffering. Yeah. Someone looked at a literal pile of garbage and went, give it life. Which, to be fair, I'm pretty sure, um, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that's um, what our parents would have done if they had a choice in the house. Um, similar experience. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe, it's, that, maybe, maybe, that's maybe, why maybe. I like, maybe that's why I like Trubbish so much, is because I empathise. You do. You're like, actually, the sentient bin bag would have gone and gotten a more lucrative career than me. <laughs> I'm garbage too. I'm garbage too, Trubbish. <laughs> but no, um, oh dear. Trubbish, it's less outrageously stupid than the ones we've put in the like the top, uh, the top three tiers. Um... Some kind of thing. I, d I don't think it's less stupid. It's I'm less outrageously I'm outrageously stupid. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty shell derp. You shell derp? I'm thinking bell dumb. I don't know. I think it's a bit stupider than a room. They kind of give a similar Could... vibe, though, of just, just two little things just with eyes just going. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you are overwhelmed by the fact that you just love how cute the bin bag with <laughs> eyes is. Okay, fair. Okay, fair. I'll put, I'll, I'll, I will allow the garbage to gather around the foot of Stonehenge. By putting it in shell there. Like, oh yeah. Um, like I'm the National Trust. <laughs> like you're the National Trust. Right up in absolute nonsense. Quite right. Yeah. Okay, fine. Next, we've got another one that I really like. Well, I really like its evolution line, but I picked the base form because it's the one that looks most like a thing without it getting more complicated. Uh, it's Clink. Yeah. Clink is pretty stupid. Clink. It was just a couple of fucking one-eyed gears. Yeah. Gen 5 was one of the other regions where they ran out of a lot of ideas. Yeah. That's some good ones, though. Gen 5 does have a pretty solid Pokedex overall. It does, but it has a lot of nonsense in it. And I mean, it that nonsense can be great. Uh, you know, no one is saying that Kling Clang does not slap when it needs to. Sock but, throw. you know, a sock and throw, you know. Okay, they made but Bert and Ernie into ninjas. Th th they did. They did. Clink, but clink, also... Clink, but Clank also can't clink. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so even their good stuff is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> clink can't clank and clank can't clink. But clink clang! Can't get a job. Clanks and clinks all over the place. <laughs> can't get a job. Because <laughs> it's part of the clink clang clan. <laughs> clink clang can't get a job. Um, it's being discriminated oh, against because it's working class. I was going to say because it's racist, father. But anyway. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh god. Okay. Yeah, so lose but your chains. Um Right. Uh I don't know what it's just It's I mean the only reason it's not just thing with eyes is because it's too thing with eyes. It's too thing with I. Two thing with I each. Yeah. Cause, look, cause they're, they're each missing an eye. It's the same eye. Yeah, and I'm like that. You know, that is a cute piece of design that I don't know why they did. Because 
Gear Pirates. I feel like... Steampunk. Here's the thing. Fuck, I don't know. I feel like what happened with Clink was... They designed it as a single gear. I went, we'll have a gear Pokemon that will evolve into, like, a more complicated thing. And someone just kind of looked at it and went... It just looks really kind of dumb just sitting there as a gear. It's not really easily identified as a gear. And they went... Alright, Control-C, Control-V. <laughs> They just, they just duplicated it and just went, all right, what if we mesh them together? And went, yeah, that'll do. And now they have constant uh, vertigo from spinning so much. And then they get more, and they get bigger gears, and they get more gears. Um, I'm pretty sure they did that in Digimon. Yeah, is... Uh, yeah. A lot of these Pokemon are stupid, but are they, Digi are they Digimon stupid? I think Clink is. I think Clink is just stupid. I'm. I'm for. I'm. I'm. I'm torn between which of the top two tiers I think it should live in, it's, and that's that's my personal feelings. Bullshit. It's not grand bullshit. It's just lazy rather than. I think it's just lazy rather than stupid. All right. Well, that is absolute nonsense. Is what yeah. it is. Just like, yes, I'm going to give a child a pair of gears that they can statistically get their heads crushed between. Like they're in a fucking Dickensian factory or some shit. Strong vibe. Anyway. Speaking of crushed children, um, next on our list is uh, a destroyer of all holidays. It is Palisand. <laughs> now, Palisand... <laughs> <laughs> like Drifloon is one of these Pokemon that kind of exists to murder children. Yeah. Because I know that it's pre-evolved form Sandy Gast, which is just, it, that's just a heap of sand with a little trowel shoved in it. So I decided to go for Palisand because it looks more like a thing. Yeah. Because um, it's a sandcastle. Um, yeah. Oh, also. I know that also... children who grab the, the spade have their souls ripped out. I would say, Jay, have you looked on the on the the Bulbapedia, the first image down? I have not. Of it just oh yeah, consuming a, a Pikachu. Consuming a Pikachu, yeah. Yup, it's a straight up killer. It's a stone cold killer. Yeah, and it's great. <laughs> also, <laughs> look at that. That oh, look. that's the the Scarlet and Violet Pokedex entry. Is that not adorable? It's so cute. It's, it's, it's three it's... Palisades looking after the little Sandy Gas kid who's clearly having the fucking time of his life. Yeah, because he's just eating a child. Yeah, because he's clearly like, just, just off screen. There are like s the bodies of six children. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, that's, that's just how it do. Possessed people control the is and known as the beach nightmare. <laughs> castle. As it evolved, its power to curse grew ever stronger. Buried beneath the castle are masses of dried up bones from those whose vitality it has drained. Yeah. Each of its grains it's... of sand has its own will? Oh, Jesus! Palisand eats and... small Pokemon and siphons away their vital essence while they're still alive. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Palisand it's is known as the Bush Nightmare. It pulls its yeah. prey down into the sand by controlling the sand itself, then it sucks out their souls. Yeah. Also, also very important. Terrifying Palisand drags smaller Pokemon into its sandy body. Once its victim is trapped, it just drains them of their vitality whenever it pleases, which means sometimes it keeps them alive! From the hollows in its arms, it fires the bones of its victims. Oh, fuck! Which are all dried up after being drained of their vitality. Can this thing That's learn... amazing. And do you know what the worst part of that is? What? It doesn't learn Bone Meringue. I know, right? I was just looking to see what move might go with that, but there isn't one. Okay, Palisand is fucking terrifying. Like somehow more Even if it learned like spike thought. cannon. Oh, it's so horrifying. It's absolutely so fucking horrifying. I, I, Chris, I, I love it. I f I'm feeling the urge to put it in Oddish because if I think if we make it say it's any dumber, it's going to come and eat us. But... <laughs> From a purely design aesthetic, yes, purely design I would like to point out, 
it is just a sandcastle. They've done nothing to it aside from make a sandcastle. I mean, they've done a lot with the eyes and using like a gate as a mouth and kind of giving it like a shell mustache. And it's still got the... Yeah, yeah there's not but really like, it's, it's two, two side towers and a central tower in like a not unclassic... You know, sandcastle. This is better form. than any sandcastle I ever built as a kid. True, but I also am pretty sure that if you got one of those buckets, remember you used to get the buckets that were pre made sandcastles? Packed it in, turned it upside down, tapped it twice, and lifted it up, you would have palace sand. I think, I think yeah, palace sand is just three of those next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. With bones or one underneath. of the expensive ones. <laughs> with bones underneath. Yes, with bones underneath. So yeah, where does this horrifying monstrosity go? A sand hole Pokemon that attracts men. Only attracts Star Wars fans. <laughs> um I mean Again, I'm like Pokedex entries make anything fucking nightmarish. Like yeah, I don't think through. we can really use the Pokemon the Pokedex entries. You know, because like otherwise, you know. Yeah. But it's just Sandcastle. They've really done nothing to it. Like, I know that, you know, we put, like, Drifloon down at the bottom. But, like, as a balloon, they've done quite a few things with it to make it look kind of non-balloon-like. Like, I feel like you look at Drifloon and you could easily miss the fact that it's a balloon. But, um... Oh, Chris, we got a bot. Yeah, I know. Um... But, yeah. But, Pal yeah. Palisand is very obviously... It's a fucking sandcastle. Um, yeah. Give me my mod commands, please. Strike down with the bad hammer. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Done. Shelled up at the least. Yeah, but I think it's probably, again, it's like, in the same way that I was arguing that Electrode is literally just this ball with eyebrows, you know, and Clink is gears with eye, like, it's there, you know, the only reason yeah. it's not stupider is because they haven't done anything to make it look stupider. I do want to see when Mega Evolution comes back, though. Palisand is one of the ones I do want to see get a Mega. Pa mega Palace. I think Ma I think Mega Palisand as doing like a proper Sand Camelot thing could be really cool. So I've seen a lot of <laughs> concepts. Know? I've seen a few concepts for Gigantamax Palisand. And as much as I hate the Gigantamax mechanic, I think it's very dumb. We did get some cool design yeah. out of it. Um, yeah. And I saw a few of those, and those looked really cool. Uh, I will grant you that, like, a whole, like, kingdom of sand would look very cool. Exactly. And actually, I'm currently, yeah, I'm currently, I've just Googled it, and actually, yeah, there are some fun ideas on DVR. Yeah. So, absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Because this is definitely not any stupider than Stone Journal. No. I'll grant you that. Yeah. Is of equal stupidity. Yeah. Now... On a similar vein, our second to last entry is again very much a someone looked at a thing and put a ghost in it. I realized a lot of things, a lot of the Pokemon on this list are ghost type. It is, I had actually expected more of them to be steel type than ghost type, and that was wrong. A lot of the steel types still look like actual things, though, which is weird. Or at least don't look, yeah. don't look like things. Yeah. Anyway, next in our order is Chandelure. The special attack fucking powerhouse of Gen 5. Yeah. Is is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boy. It's a chandelier. It is, in fact, a very chandelier. very stylized beauty of the beast chandelier. Yes. Like, this This is what the chandelier in the beast castle looks like if he doesn't break the curse and it just decides it's going to go fucking mental. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like... <coughs> A tiny amount of tweaking, and that's a Kingdom Hearts bad guy. Very little tweak. Yeah, it's yeah. very little tweaking yeah. to be a Kingdom Hearts bad guy. The yeah, tiniest. I'm like, it's, it's great. Actually, I was in fact just thinking of the Beauty and the Beast Kingdom Hearts fight. 
um, where you take the chandelier and you yep. absolutely ruin everybody with it. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty stupid, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I think because they've done a lot of kind of stylization work and made the 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 curling of the chandelier into actual arms because those do flex and unflex and they move a lot. Yeah, they um, do. They've yeah. done a lot to make it kind of animate it. Mm. Um. So it's not as stupid as Stone Journey. It's definitely not as stupid as Stone Journey. Um. And you know. But is it stupider? Is it is but is it as is it more or less stupid than Trubbish? I don't. I think it's as stupid as Aegislash. Slash. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think Chandelure, with its extra animation, the ghostly edge to the flames, making it definitely a lot more of a haunted thing. Mm. Um, may, and it, and that and using the sort of the chandelier elements to bring together the ghost and fire types very nicely in a nice little package. I think they've done a good job with that. I don't All think right. Chandelure in okay. terms of object Pokemon is any stupider than Aegislash. Slash. All right, pop it in with um, Aegislash. Put it in. Did, what was I that tier called again? I don't think I ever looked at Chandelure and ever thought they were running out of ideas. To be fair, I didn't either. I looked exactly. at it and I was like, I that's great. I love it. Here. Yeah. Also, again, I think because it's, in theory, the whole reason that you do a ghost candle is Will-O-Wisps. Exactly. And they did so, like, very it, well with Litwick. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, it did have it does have a mythical basis. They didn't just they did not necessarily just look at a candle and go <laughs> spoopy. And then they went, okay, what's the logical evolution of this? Went flame <laughs> to lamp to chandelier. Yeah. And see the so yeah your your through line there. So there's the, there is a design philosophy at play, other than yeah. it's nearly lunchtime. Yes. So, yeah, do you want it to be in a bit far fetched or bulbasilly? I think it's a bit far fetched. I'm not sure I can give it. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. You're not sure you can give it, give it quite the same pass. Yeah. Um, All right. Because there are at least two Pokemon, arguably four, that are here because the designers were getting hungry. Yes. Hopefully not for our next and final Pokemon. Ho ho! Which is again coming to us from the Galar region, and is one of the ones that's eh, it's all right. It's actually all right on that Pokedex. At least its final evolution is. It is Carcoal. Yay! I personally adore. Cult. I adore this whole evolution line. I particularly adore Roly Coley. Who is a little piece of coal with an eyeball on a wheel, and I love him, and is just the cutest little guy. Roly Coley is very cute, and Colossal, the. Final it's great! He's really cool. And yeah, and it's got a great ability, and he's just a fun, big guy. It's a good way of putting together a fire rock type. I love yeah, that. I think it's a. Yeah, I think just, yeah, thematically is genius. It's just like, you know, fire rock is coal. Coal is a literal fire rock. Yep. It's a rock that dud the fire and make the make the, the boom. And I think Carcoal is stretching our the boundaries and the definitions of our list. But it is a minecart full of coal. But it is a minecart full of coal with a face. And the only thing that makes it not that, yeah, is the fact that it has a face. And that it's made of That's rock. That's it. And it's made of rock rather than being a literal minecart. Yeah, someone, but like that. Someone started at, let's take a minecart, fill it with coal, and give it a face. And yeah. Then, but they made that extra step of make it out of rock. Yeah. They took that extra step, that which a lot of hasn't happened for a lot of the entries on this list. <laughs> Trubbish, we're looking at you. Trubbish. Trubbish. Okay, yeah. so we feel like... Okay. I mean... But also... 
it's just a minecart full of coal, it and I can never get past coal, that. But it it gives that feeling of speed with the coal flying off and the the quick leg movements uh, and the like the heat behind the the teeth. I mean, personally, I'm never, ever going to get past the fact that I caught a roly-coly and I was like, oh my god, this thing is so little and so cute and I love it. And I was so upset that it didn't evolve into a motorbike of some kind. Yeah, that's the thing, is that the previous evolution <laughs> to Car Cole is little roly-coly. Who is this? Who, again, I'm pretty sure is based off a Sonic enemy. Just burnt Torterra. How do you think, Jay? You think Carcol is just burnt Torterra? You you shut your mouth. <laughs> you shut your mouth. You leave my fucking a nice crispy fucking, Torterra. You leave my big fucking tree friend World Turtle alone. <laughs> put, okay. put your World tur put your World tur Turtle on the George Foreman and see nope. how it comes out. Nobody is allowed to commit ecological vandalism on my turtle. <laughs> like, nobody turtle is going toast. California on it. <laughs> Everybody loves crispy turtle soup. <laughs> You're not allowed. Uh, oh, Jesus. Don't, don't. oh yeah. dear. It's a little, it's a little uh, coal nugget, it's got a little wheel, and then that turns into a minecart with wheels, and then it turns into a fucking walking furnace. Yeah. It gets distinctly less wheely as it gets older. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that's Carcoal the final. Is sort of the awkward middle stage. Yeah. And I do feel like it is awkward and middle, and that, that awkward middleness is very silly. Bernie Ryehorn. It does become a bit Bernie Ryehorn, yes. Yeah. Like Bernie Sanders, but it's Bernie Ryehorn. So, I think, because there's been that extra step of... Yeah, Rhydon, sorry. And because there's been that, that extra step of design, but it is still quite stupid, I think Carcoal should go mid-tier. You want to put it slap bang in the middle? You want to say it's bell dumb? I want to say it's bell dumb. Fair. I will grant that. Because it's not... I will grant that. It's not as dumb as Trubbish. No. Some thought went into this here. Yeah. Not a lot, but some. <laughs> not a lot, but some. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, go on. And so that is our list. Absolutely, it is. Fifteen minutes um, to spare. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. That's that. It's a it's a list. It is a deeply subjective list. Oh, absolutely. Obviously, you know there are things that we didn't put on it. This was just we went through the. I mean, we did fine tooth comb through the Pokedex for a whole five minutes to yeah. decide what counted as an inanimate object and what didn't. And we did, um, we did throw out a lot of them because there were, there were, I think there were five that I ditched because I was like, this is, we're getting too many on this list. Uh, yeah, we, like, we ditched um, execute, we ditched Kaplan fungus, and fungus didn't, fungus didn't even make it on the list. That's because I suggested it, and you were like, nope, too many, shut up and go. Yeah, but you know, we ditched things like Applin, which is absolutely just an apple with eyes, but it is also. Applin's weird because it has kind of like it's not the apple. Yeah, uh, it's the dragon hiding in an apple, which is why I love Applin and I think it's adorable and I think it's a fucking great idea. Applin is adorable. It is undoubtedly cute, and its evolutions are all. But it's all of its evolutions are dumb as shit. <laughs> Appleton. Appleton apple is an apple is just a turtle. Pete's dragon just a big baked apple pie. Flapple Someone is a hollow baked apple dragon. with wings. Just stupid. Dip yeah, the, what is this to the, yeah, the dragon Diplin decided to use an apple as armor. On a stick. Diplin is silly. I will grant you Diplin is silly. Um, Diplin was... I, I don't agree with Diplin. And then Hydrapple um, kind of just throws the concept out the window. Hi, yeah, Hydra. Well... Does no, it though? It becomes, a, it becomes a bunch of multi heads coming out of an apple. It... But that's that's the same thing because it's the dragon living in the apple. True, but so I, I, yeah. I will say I hate the fact that Flapple and Appleton have the exact same Gigantamax form. Yeah, that's stupid. That. That, that's that's that should really never been. lazy design. Yeah, I will definitely grant you. That. It's it's very individual nice. ones or not at all. 
Yeah. Sword and shield. But Fucking yeah, so that is our list. Um, mm -hmm. At the peak of it, we have Grand Bullshit and Vanillox. Uh, and yep. then Absolute. We've, this guy ended up with a lot of higher tier stuff than I thought it would. Um, I mean, I I am not surprised, really. And I think that we were very lenient on Clef Key and Drifloon at the opening. Um, we needed to establish But yeah, I think... Yeah, I think this is the thing, is that when you're... I think when you end up in the whole inanimate object category and you're like, we're just going to stick eyes on a thing and do nothing else with it, then you do end up with a lot of really stupid nonsense. Yeah. And it's like, you know, and from there, you know, obviously we've gone, is it eyes on a thing and even stupider? Sure, we've got two up there. Or is it eyes on a thing and... You know they've done something with it to make it a little less stupid, and varying degrees of that. So it's it's so, it's yeah. I mean, question I have to ask because we got ten minutes to fill. Mm -hmm. Are there any you've, you've reconsidered anything that, as we've kind of gone through our discussion on our criteria? Is there anything you want to move higher? Anything you should move lower? We should make a new tier for Sinistry. Which just says fuck you. It just says fuck <laughs> you. Yeah, no yeah. pun. Just fuck you. Yup. <laughs> oh dear. No, that's 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 not an objective thing to say. Um But it's true. <laughs> I mean it's a very it is a very subjective thing, if only because you is the subject uh, of that sentence. There is, there is no object for that sentence. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> angry sip. No, I I I I I'm a bit wobbly on it, but I think it's I think this is as fair as we were gonna get. Uh, yeah, I think I think we have been I think we got harsher as we went on, but I, I think, think that's this is a, I think this act this uh, is a bit is quite accurate. Yeah, I mean, have it. I think give. I think I I think I said it's just stupid to about you know eighty percent of them. To be fair, they had to just be stupid to get on the fucking list. <laughs> this is true. That's how they got in the goddamn door. Like, you are yeah. judging these people for being able to get past the bouncer. Yeah. That was you <laughs> at times. Absolutely. And to get past me, they had to have fewer teeth than brain cells. Fewer brain cells than teeth. Both More in negative digits. Than brain cells. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. And a lot of these motherfuckers don't have any teeth. Or well, brain cells. Pal Palisand, however... It throws off the curve because it has so many teeth. It's just that they're other people's. Yeah, and it's fucking horrifying. Yeah. On that cheerful note, um, you bye can bye, find everybody. us on YouTube and stuff. Um, Jay is on Patreon and on uh, Twitter. Yes. Uh, He's got a video games company that you should follow also. Yeah, uh, we're called Old Alliance Games. We're, uh, we are at all underscore games on Twitter, Instagram, uh, and LinkedIn, we are posting regular updates. We should have something very exciting coming out soon. Uh, it's not Ooh. the game, sadly. Uh, <laughs> but, but it's exciting. But it's a very exciting announcement. Happy days. Um, and if you want to see Jay do other game things, he also sometimes streams on a Friday. Yeah, I'm making a side project where I'm making a little stealth game in Unreal 5 that's real yeah. fucking janky right now and will probably remain pretty janky because that is just how I roll. Which is why I get other people <laughs> to do the programming for me in professional stuff. Very sensible. But it's okay, but you it's know, nice you're, you're, yeah, nice chill having time. a chill time. Swearing at blueprints. Yes. And then next week, it's going to be just me, isn't it? So yes, we're going to I, I am, try and... Uh, gonna, I am avoiding yeah. my taxes next week, so uh, it'll just be... Christmas. Enjoy. Yeah, so we're going to be, we're going to be playing some games again. I'm going to see if I can get my emulators working. King, and we'll see what we end up doing. Woo. Uh, we will be back the week after that uh, on the 22nd uh, with a regular content. Might be Pokemon stuff, might be D&D &D stuff, might be whatever the fuck uh, crosses our mind. We'll see Who knows? on the day. Um, for now, enjoy your Monday night and bye-bye, um, everybody. Bye!